Hi folks, welcome to another episode of ERB Explained. Today we're looking at the battle between Darwin and Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. Uh, in case you haven't figured it out, it's because they both have to do with evolution. Um, now, I'm going to do this video from the perspective of someone who is not familiar with Darwin or Pokemon. So if you're like really into either one of them, this might get kind of repetitive for stuff that you feel like you already know. But hey, we're doing it for everyone. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, a couple of things there. So he's like, Darwin wants to battle. It's in, for those of y'all who don't play, who've never played a Pokemon game, they'll sit there and say, so and so wants to battle. So that's just kind of a thing. Uh, it says, I've yet to catch the ghost type. So uh, funny enough, uh, Ash, who's been uh, the Pokemon main character since like, I think it was, since it premiered, and I think that was 96, went and had never caught a ghost type at the time that this video was made, although at this point it has, which is, they have them, uh, the Pokemon categorized the types, so anyways, uh, and obviously uh, mentioned the fact that Charles Darwin's dead, so if he would be battling, it would obviously be a ghost, he'd, he'd be a ghost, uh, so anyways, if you see, he's got the little Z's on his eyes, that is uh, basically trying to make him look as much like the anime character as possible, so... All right, so it says, I got the highest speed stat, I drop raps lightning fast. So in Pokemon, the Pokemon with the highest speed stat is the one that goes first. And obviously, drop raps lightning fast, you know, speed, but also kind of a reference to the fact that he has Pikachu as his main character. I like this part right here with the anime eye. It says, open my pocket, go Charizard on your ass, because uh, Pokemon means pocket monsters. So if you open your pocket... You have to open your pocket to get the monster out. And Charizard is a flame type, so he's flaming him. Because I'm Ash. Tell him not to talk, of course, obviously. Okay, so if you guys have ever gone and mounted a insect, you know, it does get kind of pressed in there and squished a little bit. And also the fact that Darwin went and vivisected a lot of insects to see how they worked and such. Okay, that's a really neat one right there. Darwin spent a lot of time actually studying earthworms and was one of the first ones to recognize, if not the first one to recognize, the earthworm's vital role it plays in the ecosystem in fixing the uh, uh, various elements in the soil so that plants can grow. Sorry guys, I'm going to be pausing a whole bunch. So, Origin of Feces is a play off the fact, Origin of Species, uh, which is Darwin's seminal book on evolution. Now, I'm going to try to go and uh, let these go for a couple of lines before I jump in, although it's, it's kind of hard. Candy wraps, Reese's Pieces, in this ecosystem, I'm the dominant species. Okay, so, uh, Candy Wraps, obviously saying that, you know, he's no good or anything. Reese's Pieces, uh, I've looked into it a bit, and a lot of people are saying that that's a... a um, Reference to the fact that Darwin used the rhesus monkey as an example of an animal that co-evolved uh, down in a parallel path with humans. So, okay, I'll take that. Uh, dominant species is obviously a reference to the theory of natural selection, which was Darwin's theory that he came up with. Okay, so that's another Pokemon reference because when you sit there and uh, when you he Ash would always go Pikachu, I choose you when he wants them to go out and battle. So. Hello there, welcome to a world called Earth, where actual minds do groundbreaking work. So apparently, uh, <laughs> that's that's they did a neat little Pokemon thing where Darwin was sitting there holding a book out and says, "Welcome to a world called Earth." And in the poke and in one of the first Pokemon games, uh, Professor Oak is sitting there holding a book and says, "Welcome to the world of Pokemon." So, and then a quick reference to the fact that Ash isn't real. Darwin obviously is. Alright, so I really love that line. Uh, obviously, fittest, natural selection, more references to Darwin's work. I love the turn 11 line because Ash has never grown any older. I don't know why. For those of y'all who don't know who Jigglypuff is, if you've ever played Smash Brothers, he's the Pokemon that looks kind of like Kirby, so he's just a big, giant, fluffy ball. Anything that references Evil Dead trilogy is amazing. Um, 
It is a trilogy, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think. Anyways, anything that references Evil Dead in general is amazing. Um, so, uh, you know what? I'm going to have to go back. Let's go sit back 10 seconds. You got, no game. you got no Game Boy. That's a great one. You got no Game Boy. But Game Boy was what the uh, Pokemon originally premiered on. I, I do like that line. It's very clever. So that's a reference to Darwin saying that he glimpsed the origin of species as opposed to, you know, the... Uh, all Ash does is walk around and just catalog stuff, so. My research reverse the first word to the church. You measure your worth by the sales of your merch. So, reversing the first words of the church, that was never a, I don't think that was ever a claim that Darwin did. It was a claim that a lot of other people uh, did on Darwin's behalf. And actually, I think the church even itself sat there and said that uh, he did that, uh, which is, you know, the first words of the church that God created the universe and everything else like that. And so, obviously, with Darwin's theory of evolution, he sat there and says, no, it's, it's, people went and evolved into it. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Just an, a nice little insult about the fact that Pokemon literally monetizes everything 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 okay yo um real quick this dude spent eight years studying barnacle dick kick it okay so he did spend eight years studying barnacles to go and figure out where exactly they fit on the evolutionary ladder and one of them was how do they mate and turns out that uh it's because they are very well endowed and they basically just reach over because you know the particles can't move so they just kind of reach over to the next one and get the job done so there you go if you ever wondered how barnacles made it there you go <laughs> please don't demonetize me youtube all right so darwin's boat trip uh, that went to various islands, including most famously the Galapagos, was on the Beagle, and it was obviously one of the most important things to happen in all of scientific history, so especially biology. So that's a neat little reference right there, obviously glitchy reference to whatever, but Old Man and the Sea, you know, I... I I don't know what uh, Ernest Hemingway has to do with this, but I love any references to his works. So that's a great one right there. And a quick reference to the Galapagos Islands, where he did some of his most seminal work on evolution and the origin of species. If, for those of you who don't know who Michael Vick is, if you're younger, you might not know who Michael Vick is. Michael Vick was the one of the quarterbacks like just was a franchise quarterback was considered one of the most talented football players of all times and he got caught uh, running a dog fighting ring so that's where that comes from okay okay so uh from so simple a beginning because basically he said that everything had started from a simple beginning and then moved on and evolved into more complex stuff. And uh, I'm not Charles Sheen. Notice the Charles Sheen, not Charlie Sheen. Charles Sheen, because Charles, Charles. So I am Dar winning, so. Man, if that's true, then nature is cool. Because the only thing you're winning is your cousin's gene pool. Okay, so uh, yeah, Darwin went and married his cousin, which back then was not that unusual to do. It was uh, just a thing. So. You lost three children while they were still small. TV and scarlet fever. Gotta catch them all. It's That's just a low blow. Obviously, reverence to Pokemon Go, which at the time that this came out was the big thing. If y'all remember that summer where Pokemon Go was, everyone was playing Pokemon Go and people were just wandering around like zombies playing Pokemon Go, that was when this was made. It was hard losing my daughters and their brother As hard as the wood that oak gave your mother oh, oh. Considering that last line We all knew it We all know that's true Alright, so that's it for Charles Darwin versus Ash Ketchum Two masters of evolution, obviously uh, I think that Charles Darwin won That last line was just Oh man, that was just That was funny and true and hilarious 
So, anyways, no matter who you think won, if you got any suggestions about what you want us to react to, what you want us to watch or break down, anything like that, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit the little alarm bell so you'll be notified whenever we post new content. We will be going and having some original content coming to the channel too that isn't us reacting or doing anything else. It's just us doing stuff. All right, thanks a lot. See you next time.